everybody welcome back to my channel i went to home goods and i spent 64.37 which isn't bad when you see what all i have so i picked up this ohana mug this is going to be for my oldest son he loves lilo and stitch so much and i thought i'd give him this for easter to go in his easter basket and i paid 4.99 for it and i know he's going to be so happy about that I found this really cute, let me see if I can not have a glare on it, okay, this Mommy and Me mug set. They're made out of tin, so they're tin cups, and I got this for my daughter and her daughter um, for Easter, so this little one is so cute. Okay, let me get it out of the bag for you. So you can see they're made out of the metal, but the big one has a mama deck and a baby deck. And it just says big, and the little one has a little baby duck, and it says little. And I just love this. I think it's so super cute. And I know that Heavenly and Jessa are going to love drinking their hot drinks from this. She's going to have her cup like mommy. And I showed it to Heavenly already, and she absolutely loves this. And I paid $10 for this. It was on clearance. I did pick up some coffee. I found that if you buy your coffee at Home Goods, it's so much cheaper than buying it at Walmart. So I found this one step cappuccino from the donut shop. It was $3.99. And then I also picked up some of this McCafe for, I don't think I already got into it this morning, um, $4.99. So got those and then I got some the biscottis they have such yummy biscottis there this was $2.99 now I've been wanting a drip coffee brewer for a while and I keep seeing them everywhere and they're like $40 I think I did find one for $20 which is the cheapest I have found but then I saw this and I thought it was really pretty it's just this like porcelain or um, pottery type drip set with the mug now I don't care so much for the mug as much as I just like the system but this is a Raydun set I did like it because it didn't look like the typical Raydun sets that they do have they had another set which was like the typical Raydun mug um and I'm not real into Raydun all that much I don't like collect her stuff or anything like that but there are some things that I do enjoy and I found this and I thought it was really pretty and I only paid $12.99 for that. So I'm super excited. So with that, of course, I had to buy some coffee. And I found this Disney coffee. It's by Joffrey's, which is what they use at Disneyland and Disney World, I believe. Um, but it smells amazing. It's caramel and dark chocolate. And I wish you could smell it because the smell is... Oh. Oh, it smells so good. I picked my husband up these meringues. He absolutely loves meringues. So these are the cocoa and vanilla. And then I love Alice in Wonderland. And I saw this Alice in Wonderland English breakfast tea set. Haven't looked in it yet. So I finally got it opened. Let's see. It just comes in these little bags like this. But we love our tea here. We like to drink tea often. And so I'm always looking for good tea. Super happy to find this tin. I know I've seen this tin before. I've seen this tin online for like 20 bucks. And I almost bought it on Amazon. I'm glad I didn't because I only ended up spending $8 for it. Super happy with that. And then the last thing, of course, I always buy bags from World Market. Or not World Market. From Home Goods. And I loved this B Design. I think that the muted colors are so pretty. There's Pumpkin. She's just, she loves my hauls. Whenever I do a haul, she has to be in it. <laughs> she thinks everything I buy is for her. But I bought that bag, and then I also had to buy this. It reminded me of the 90s. I just loved it so much, and I bought that for Courtney, just to put some stuff in if she wanted to. So I got those. Hey, Pumpkin. Everything's for you, huh? This is your house. We just all live here. It's all for, for you. Okay, so at Target, I spent, it was about $88. I don't think I have the receipt to show y'all, but I believe it was $88. And I did pick up a few other things I'm not showing y'all. That is, I bought some sanitary pads and I bought some paper plates. And that's it with this stuff. So I picked up 
most of the stuff is for my grandbaby. I bought her this Imagine Ink uh, Disney Princess kit. I picked up a thing of these M&Ms. I got two other M&Ms because M&Ms are easy for her to eat and she loves them so much. And these are the minis. And I, so I picked up two because I'm sure she'll have one. Her mom will just decide when she wants to give those to her. And then I got her these Peeps. I believe these are the Fruit Loops flavor. So I got those and then I picked up this Fisher Price Little People Princess set. I know that she's going to love that so much. Also got her the Chips Ahoy minis. I thought this was super cute because um, I was looking for peeps that you don't, you know, the big boxes, you don't have the individual peeps wrapped. And so I was looking for individual peeps that would be wrapped and I found this. This is wrapped and then it came with a little stuff peep bunny and then because I forgot that I had already picked her up this and so I picked up this too so now she's gonna have two things which is fine also I picked up this super cute cup for her she loves drinking from a straw and it has that floating castle and it just has Tangled, Moana, Belle, Cinderella, and Tiana. And it has the pop-up straw. And it has this little like rubber handle. So I know she's going to really like this cup. I just hope it doesn't break just because of this bottom piece. But I know she'll love that. Of course, I had to pick up my Viva paper towels. And then I also just picked up some of the Target brand Ultra Strong toilet paper. And that's everything from Target. Now, moving on to the Dollar Tree. Okay, so at the Dollar Tree, I did spend a little over $70. Um, I picked up some of these Easter eggs to fill. These ones are super cute. These have the little bunnies. And then these are just plain. They look iridescent. And then we got these, which are the little bunny tails. Oh, hold on. These ones, which are just the little bunnies with the feet. And then these, which I believe are dinosaur eggs. And these will be for Jessa for like the Easter egg hunt on Easter. I didn't get too many just because it probably is just going to be her um, hunting for eggs. And I didn't want to put too many things in them because she's still quite young. So I'm probably just going to put like one piece of candy per egg. Mostly she's just going to have a lot of fun searching for them. This banner I thought was super cute. I was thinking because it is so large that I could use three of these, three or four of these bunnies as um, tags for the Easter basket. They're just the bunny with the cotton tail. I picked up this really large Easter bunny um, coloring book. I'm not going to give this to her for Easter. I think I'm just going to give it to her when she gets here and because she absolutely loves coloring so so much and I think for her age it is nice to have some of the bigger um, the bigger books for them to color on. Also I picked her up this Jumbo Frozen coloring book book as well as this Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse spring Easter coloring book so super cute I picked Courtney up a couple of activity books as well y'all know Courtney likes these Facebooks where they have the stickers that you can put and make faces so this is new this is a Disney emoji sticker activity funny faces so it just has the different Disney character faces and then it comes with all of the stickers and then this one is just a plain funny face sticker book I guess it's aquatic and it's got the mermaids and the different fish so she's gonna like that and then I also picked Courtney up the Discovery of Animals 500 dot to dot. She said she's been on the hunt for a dot to dot book. This is very detailed for her. So I think she's going to love that. Some candy I picked up for the Easter eggs. I just got a bunch of Reese's eggs. So I picked up four of those. And I probably will buy other candies. This is just what I got at the Dollar Tree. They didn't have a ton, so I just got what I thought she would like. And then I got her these little dum-dums. I told Courtney that we were on a hunt to look for anything with a con in Kanto. Jessa loves everything in Kanto, and we can't find a whole lot. But Courtney found this bag, and I thought it was perfect for me to give her all her little presents that I'm going to be buying for her when she first comes into town. So, happy to have that. I picked up 
two of these poppets for Courtney. I'm probably just going to throw these in her Easter basket, but we got the heart and the daisy. And then also for Jessa, I picked her up this little, what is this called? Etch and Sketch. This is just a small one. Her dad bought her a big one for Christmas and she loves it. She takes it everywhere with her. So I thought since she's coming without it for nine months, maybe she'd want a small one for the car. And then I got her two Easter books. I got her this Easter egg hunt um, with the bunny. And then I got her this little springtime with llamas. Last thing I picked up for Jessa is this thing of Easter egg chocolate. And I saw this at Target for $2, so I'm glad that it ha they had it at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. One thing I am not glad about from the Dollar Tree is their grass, their Easter grass. I bought a whole bunch of these. I think I bought like 12 bags of it. Um because they were $1.25 and I thought they'd be more expensive somewhere else. Well, when I went to Walmart, they were only 98 cents. So definitely don't buy your Easter grass from the Dollar Tree. Get it from Walmart. It's much cheaper. I did pick up two of these little containers. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with these. I may um, use these as the Easter baskets for my boys, but I needed another one for Courtney. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet. More grass, lots of grass. And then I picked up this uh, pink basket, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this either. And the last thing I got at the Dollar Tree are these cozy socks. I love a good pair of cozy socks after I get out of the shower at night, especially when it's cold. If it's cold. If it's warm, I don't want to wear cozy socks, of course, but they had different colors. I think they had a red set too, but I went ahead and just got the black and the blue for myself. So this is everything that I picked up today on my little shopping haul or shopping spree. Hope that y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoy haul videos, I hope that you will hit that subscribe button because I do a lot of those. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye!